Yes, hallelujah. I've come again your way. Reverend Dr. David Debeface by name. The Lord is talking to me and talking to all of us. He said this upcoming week should be declared our week of fresh oil. Our week of fresh oil. He's taking me to the book of Psalm 92 verse number 10. He says, But my horn shall thou exalt like the horn of a unicorn. I shall be anointed with fresh oil. Psalm 92 verse number 10. Let me tell you, my hearers, the Lord has given us a word, a very powerful word. Can I talk to someone at the sound of my voice? You are not supposed to remain where you are. You're supposed to make a move. If you get this message and remain where you are, that means you have a problem. But I know you don't have a problem. What you need is the word of God. And that's what God is bringing you away this hour. God is a movement. God is not a monument. You don't have to wait until that your brother agree with you before you make a move. Make a move right now. Because God is up to something. God wants to change your status. The other day he told me that in the book of Hagar, chapter number 2, verse number 9, he said to me that the glory of the latter house shall be greater than the former. And he said, I should tell people that we are in the season of the letter glory the season of the letter glory please hear this word capture this word hold this word run with this word don't drop it down don't let it go down please hold it and run with it our week of fresh oil you've been old enough you need something new you've been there enough you need to make a move you can't keep doing that to your doors, you know, every time. You've done it a long time and it's yielding the same result. You need a mega thing this time around. You need something mega, something bigger, something more powerful. Come on, receive fresh oil from the Lord and begin to do new exploits. Begin to do new things. You've done the old enough. God has been waiting for you. And this time around, he's giving you his word. He's pushing you with his word. Our week of fresh oil. You've been anointed with fresh oil to make fresh achievements. To achieve new things. Gain new grounds. Climb to new levels. Achieve new status. Something new has to happen. Something should be added to that your profile. It's been there enough lying just like that the same way it was all the time no it's time for change new oil is for change when fresh anointing comes upon your life something new begins to happen when it came upon the disciples of christ they changed people around them were amazed that your encounter it's been long you had it you need a new encounter you need a fresh encounter you need to encounter the spirit afresh You've been walking with that old anointed. The old oil you got for a long time now. That's what you've been using. No, 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 no. You need a fresh encounter. You need a new, you need something new for something mega. To move forward the more. God is about to take you to where he says he will take you. But listen, you must be ready to receive what you should receive that will empower you to get there. Nothing happens just for nothing. Nothing happens without a reason. Nothing happens without a force propelling it. Before you have the miracle, before you have the testimony, there is something that propelled it. And that's why God has come this time around with fresh oil, fresh oil, new anointing, fresh things happening by reason of the fresh encounter. The Bible says that the new wine should not be put in an old wine skin. 
If it happens, then the old wise cane will be broken. So make up your mind, clean up yourself, prepare yourself, consecrate your life for God is about to do something new. He want to fill you up. He want to give you an encounter. He want to give you a fresh oil. He want to put something new in you for something that is greater than what you've ever experienced in life. People around you who thought you would remain at that point, they will see you moving forward. It takes anointing for a shift. It takes anointing for new things to happen. Catch this new anointing and begin to achieve new blessings. God bless you as you forward this message to everyone on your contact. Don't forget, it's our week of fresh oil. The Lord is giving it to you and it shall come to pass. The Lord will bless you and everything that has to do with you. In Jesus' name, Amen. God bless you. Give my praise to God. Alone.